Ladies and gentlemen, Hurricane Delta has now been upgraded to major category three status and might continue to strengthen and make a run at category four. And this is a big bad beast. And so hopefully there are a lot of people in Louisiana getting out of harm's way because this one will probably be stronger than Sally, in my opinion. A lot of people have questions about the track because it has gone pretty far west. But everybody guarantees me that it is going to curve back and it is definitely going to hit Louisiana. Um, and so this is going to be a big problem with flooding and storm surge and winds and power outages for Louisiana. But it's definitely got an eye wall and an eye and I definitely could see it making a run towards category four status. And I wouldn't just cause it's 2020, I wouldn't rule out category five. Um, and so it is best to keep an eye on it. This is a major hurricane. It's going to bring a major flash flood risk to West and almost to central Louisiana. And it'll bring rain to parts of East Texas. And I will get, we would get, I would guess we would get rain from this storm here in Houston, Texas. It's supposed to make landfall about Friday afternoon or Friday night. And like I said, it's going to bring a large swath of anywhere from five to 10 inches of rain to large portions of anywhere in Louisiana that isn't part of the toes of the foot. Louisiana kind of looks like a foot. And the USA will be getting double penetrated by storms as we have Hurricane Delta coming in and then we have a Pacific Northwest storm coming in and then. We will be on the lookout for our Eris storm around the 17th, which usually brings a large wind event to a lot of places. And then we have reason to watch for another hurricane on the 22nd, because this is 2020 and the hits just keep on coming. Oh man, this is definitely not my favorite year of all time. And you've got severe weather watches up for the east part of Louisiana and into Alabama, partially Mississippi. Because, you know, with big storms like this, there are tornado spin-ups almost every single time. So, this can be quite an event. And uh, from what I've seen of the reports, there are more people evacuating now than with Hurricane Sally. And rightly so, because this should be a stronger storm. Mike's weather page, who does the great spag SpaghettiModels.com, which I always use, showing us that they're going to be expected widespread power outages through large portions, Lake Charles, Lafayette. And uh, so they've had a lot of power outages since the last storm. And the infrastructure is probably pretty susceptible to more. So our prayers will be with you. But you can see that like right now, the last report was 949 millibars, which would be about 34 millibars under what was predicted here. But, you know, it'll be coming kind of sideswiping in anywhere in about 30 hours to the very ball of the foot of Louisiana. Although I still think October surprises are possible. But Cranky Weather Guy and Jack Sillin assure me, no, they're not. Gotten a steady stream of questions today asking about the trends in Delta's track to set the record straight for all there is no meaningful trend shift in track today very little cross track west east spread in ensemble guidance models are locked onto cameron paris landfall so we're talking a cameron paris landfall um even though it looks like it's kind of headed towards houston but it is not and like i said if craig can assure me and jack can assure me then we should all rest pretty assured although just in case you know stay you know, stay on alert, man. This is 20, you know, more October was surprised, but I think Texas is out of the woods. Um, I mean, at least Houston. And then we have James Wilson letting us know, like I said, has regained category three strength. It has sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. This pressure is too high. It was 949 last time I checked. Like I said, 949 pressure falling fast. Sam Lillo. Delta is intensifying, could very well make a run at Category 4 tonight if it maintains its trajectory. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a monster of a storm. It is at least 24 hours out, if not more. It definitely has room to strengthen, 
Although some people think because the waters are cold before the coast, it will weaken. So strengthen or weaken. Regardless, it is going to be a major uh, storm at landfall, probably. With super hurricane winds, storm surge, heavy rainfall, power outages, tornadoes, everything that goes in. But every hurricane is different. And so definitely expect surprises along the way. So I got prayers up to Matthew and the family and everyone in Louisiana, all the Cajuns out there. This is going to be quite an event. Uh, I will be taking you guys through it with updates every few hours. So please, everyone, stay safe, stay cool. And if you are on the road evacuating, just maintain patience. And I hope you guys make it to safer, higher ground. May God bring you the miracle you guys need in your time of need. And may we one day all unify as a country to work together to prepare for situations like this and improve all of our infrastructure. All right. God bless everyone. I will talk to you all soon.